Hey guys, um, I just wanted to show you some stuff that I went and did in New York. Um, I went to New York um, May 10th through the 14th, I think, and I just got now running around trying to catch up with work and doing other things so I just wanted to show you a couple things that we did in New York um, the first day when we got there we arrived like at 2 30 um, went to her place um, and just um, settled down for a little bit and then after that we went to Times Square Times Square is really really just full of TVs crowds of people um, I'm gonna give you my personal opinion about New York and what I liked and what I didn't like um, but I'm going to show you day to day what we did. Um, second day we went down to one of her friend's houses um, and it was very expensive where she lived. I couldn't believe someone would pay that much for a one bedroom. I was just in shock. Central Park is beautiful by the way. I love Central Park but you do need tennis shoes. Um, that was one of my regrets. I had my feet were killing me all day in boots from walking and walking and walking. I had to finally at 8 o'clock p.m. I was like you know what I have to go out and buy some tennis shoes so I went out to Foot Locker spent an hour there looking for tennis shoes bought some Pumas and that was it I was wearing those like the rest of the time there um, but let me tell you it's very very expensive compared to here in Orlando going to Olive Garden was like $15 for one of their dishes over there it's like $22 so it's just it's a big comparison that's like almost $10 difference so yeah and th let's see, the third day, what did we do? We went to Statue of Liberty. That was really nice. Statue of Liberty, I really liked that. Um, the boat on the ferry is really, really rocky. You know, it's just like, ugh, horrible. Um, after that, we got our faces done. I wanted to show you this. Hold on. Really cute. So, when you get off of the ferry, they had people there just hounding you. Oh, do a picture, do a picture. So, I got mine done. It was only five bucks. So, I was like, okay, whatever. So, I got my picture done. And that's me in New York. And they really did a really good job. And I was actually wearing those peacock earrings. And I had a martini glass. And they made my boobs look really big. So I was re this really does look like me. And I think it really does. So, that's me. Let's see. What else did I do? Hmm. Okay, yeah, when after you get off the ferry there in New York, there's these Jamaican men hounding you. They have these dollies. And I, I think you know what a dolly is, to move big stuff. And then on top of the dolly was a box. And then on top of the, and inside the box were all the fake purses. And I'm like, oh my god. And then on top of it, they had bed sheets. Well, my bed sheets, it's like, it's like piled up bed sheets on top of it. So people don't know what they're trying to sell you. They had a Rolexes, they had special like Dolce Cabana um, eyeglasses, they had everything. And I said to the guy, I'll give you $20 for the Chanel, because I know I can get that for like $20 here, you know, for the fake Chanel. And they're like, no, I'll get for $40. i am like, I'm not spending $40, are you crazy? I have so many purses, I don't, I don't even wear them all. It's so crazy. So anyways, yeah. So we didn't get any of that. So basically after that we went to Wall Street and they had that shut down because of a protest. So I didn't do that basically but the next day after that we went to 9-11 which was really really sad it was like a really sad quiet place and it's just like it was really really weird just being there and you could see all the new buildings they're putting up everywhere and it was just really really sad I was just like okay I gotta get out of this place and go get me a cup of coffee I don't remember what I did the rest of that day, but it was probably involving shopping. I think we went to Soho and went to the Dash store. We did went to the Dash store. I know that. So we went to Dash. Uh, we had to wait like almost an hour in line just to get in there. They can only allow five people at a time in that store, which is ridiculous. And have everybody else wait outside, which is so stupid. So after that, um, I think that was it. The next day we went to Chinatown and Little Italy. Little Italy's food I didn't really care for, but there was a store there called Ferrara's and oh my god, I pigged out. I should have bought some more. But I had the catalog and I can buy anything I want so they can ship it to me. So I was like, hell yeah. Um, but Chinatown, I like the shopping there. I got Dolce & Cabana. No, not Dolce & Cabana. I got Gucci Guilty Perfume for 35 bucks, and it's normally retail 75 to 125 And I got my husband Armani Code for 35 too. So it's the same thing, I mean, and it smells good. 
but the next day, which was Saturday, which I really wanted to talk to you about, is the Sex and the City tour. And I, I'm a big fan of Sex and the City tour. So let me tell you, it, everything that they show you in the movie is where it really happened. Like anywhere from Aiden's bar where he was working and he bought and he made himself to um, where Miranda and Steve got married, we saw. Uh, the cupcakes in the movie where they ate, we had some of their cupcakes. Um, we went to Soho in that movie and went shopping. It was it was a, a good experience. It was worth the forty four dollars for the tour. So if anybody goes to New York, I recommend the Sex and the City tour. It's forty four dollars. It's three and a half hour long tour. It's totally worth it. But so after the tour, you go to the HBO store, and I went to Sex and the City. Love it. Um, oh yeah. By the way, I went to the Empire State Building and I got Empire State Building. I only bought a couple things there. So the Sex and the City tour, this is what you get in all the hot spots and everything. They also have other tours like Gossip Girl, Sopranos, um, a whole bunch of stuff. And it shows you like all kinds of stuff. So you got you get that and plus coupons. What is this? That's a whole bunch of stuff here. Okay. What else? These are postcards. Excuse me. So I was at HBO store, and I got Sex in the City keychain, and I had to get it. I think this was like five bucks, I think. Sex in the City, and then I got Sex in the City magnet, four ninety nine. And then what else did I get? I got there was a shirt there that says hello lovers and I had to get it but they didn't have my size so I couldn't get it. So I got this shirt that says Sex in the City in it and it's in a martini glass. It's a little wrinkly but I got it. this one. An extra large because all their shirts seemed very small and this one's the only one that kind of stretched so I got this shirt so I'm going to be wearing this. So I need to find a hanger for that. But that was the Sex in the T City tour. That I really recommend. I, that was the only fun I think I have a trip but New York is a dirty, crowded, people don't look like they're happy, they all, they like mind their own business, they have earphones in their ears, mind their own business on the subway, the subway is a freaking roller coaster, it makes you sick. The first night I got there we got sick and I, it was horrible. Statue of Liberty, got po this is a postcard so just in case people don't know. They, this is what it really really does look like. So. And it says Times Square. What else? These are postcards. And you actually see these buildings everywhere. I didn't go to Brooklyn, so we didn't see the Brooklyn Bridge. But you can probably see it from the plane. I got a bunch of pictures on my camera. So this, the Chrysler Berlin. Oh, so beautiful. I love, that was my, my favorite building. But we never went to it, but I wanted to see it. Uh, Statue of Liberty. This was from the memorial. This was sad. When you go inside the memorial, you'll see this statue of the um, Statue of Liberty, and it has all the things like um, people's pictures and notes and stuff from "I love you," "I miss you," or "Where are they?" or uh, just different things, you know, badges of police officers that died. It's just so sad when you see this there. So I got a picture of that so I can remember, and that's basically about it. So I just got a bunch of postcards and. Because I like postcards. So, yep, that's about it. And that's my trip about New York. And I don't think I'll go again. But that was just once in a lifetime experience. But um, I'll be back with another video soon. Bye.